a, a blank ring. Okay. We're all, uh, that was the department. We make numerous different styles and kinds depending on the size of the vehicle that it's going to go in. Okay. This is a blank pinion. Okay. When we move on down the line here a little a little ways, you'll, this will become way more apparent on what's going on. But eventually, this will have teeth cut in, this will have helical teeth cut in, and they will match up like this. Okay, and what does this do? What? This is what actually drives your vehicle. Oh, okay. From the drive shaft that's going to be connected, in the rear axle, of, and we make fronts too, uh -huh. But in the rear axle, you're going to have a match set, ring and pinion, and that's what actually drives your vehicle. One of the things we pride ourselves with here at Dana Fort Wayne is that every pinion and gear, or, uh, ring that's made is tested and lapped. A lot of places don't do that. Once these are lapped together, they will be a match set forever. Okay. We, and this is done on 21st century machines and mid 20th century machines. So we use a combination of both. And you're saying that every single piece and part that is manufactured in this million square foot facility is goes through this testing process? Yes, every ring and pinion. Okay. Now there are processes out there where they only check like one every 20 or something uh -huh. like that. As far as the rings and pinions go, yes, every one of them is checked. And why is this testing important? One of the main problems that you can run into is noise in the rear end. So they have to be perfectly matched. They have to have a certain kind of micro. And when they're lapped, and that, that just gives it a better fit. And we'll, we'll get to the lapping process here in a little bit. Okay. But if you have a, a, a ring and a pinion that howls in the rear end, if you have a pickup truck or an SUV, you're going you're gonna to hear it. And, and they do. It has to be silent. Okay. And so what happens if in the testing process it doesn't pass the test? It's scrapped. It's scrapped and sometimes, whatever. Sometimes they can rework them, but if it's too bad, if it has a nick, which is very detrimental, and they can't get it out, it's scrapped. And you're saying that not all manufacturers go through this process? Absolutely not. So We're this is one, of the, one of the few, and we may be the only one that I know of. After the ring and pinion has gone through the, the tooth cutting process, the helical uh, gears, it comes into a, uh, an area where they are lapped and matched. They are actually put through a process where they are, uh, they use a compound where it moves the gears back and forth a little bit. And once that process is over, then that is a match set forever. That will go into the back end of numerous different styles of pickups and uh, SUVs, cars. So they're brought back here. What happens back here in this in this area? They're, this is where we where they test them for the uh, pattern they call. Okay. It. And they can tell whether they're they're perfect enough or whether it may need just a small amount of shim to move this pattern. I'll have to get them from this side. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. No problem. If you can see it in here, there's a there's an absolute perfect spot for that. Okay. And these guys, these people are talented enough that they can look at that and tell whether it's a thousand off just by sight. So is this matched to this? That is matched to that. And okay. you can see they are match sets. And so that. that is a match set, and that is a match set. That's correct. And they are perfectly matched. Yes. And and there's only one perfect match for each you, They will never exchange this one for this one on this set. Okay, no, they these, have to stay together they, forever. They etch, they etch a number on there and it is a match. So if one set. of them fails or wears or whatever, both have to be replaced. Yes. Okay, this is the axle or the rear end of a going axle in a, a heavy duty pickup truck. And as we've gone through this process, we've seen the rings come in, we've seen the ring uh, heat treated, blank, the gears actually cut in them, the pinion comes up through the other end down here and it's attached to a, a yoke okay. that would be attached to your drive shaft. Okay. So you can see this starting to come together now. We'll go to see a process where they actually put the tubes in, the wheel ends are put on in a different factory. 
but uh, as you can see, the process is coming together. You can still see the, the pattern that, the, that was accepted. I don't know why this is sitting here. It's getting ready for something. But as it comes together, it becomes more apparent with what's happening. This is the product that we're making today. When we tra traversed through the plant, we looked at how they made the ring gears, how they made the pinions, how they machined the, the carrier and the, and the case, which I failed to point out, but it's another integral uh, component of it. Mm -hmm. um, all of this done today, virtually everything on this is done on uh, sorry, CNC and robotics. Mm -hmm. So the tolerances are very, very precise. That has The quality has to be virtually perfect. Okay, and this goes into a pickup truck? And this goes into a pickup truck. Okay. It's just going to get all muddy and dirty. Okay. 